In today's tutorial, I will show you how you can host an Angular project in Apache server. First of all, I will show you how you can do it in local server and next I will show you how you can host any project in online server. So here I have using my previous project that I have shown you in my previous tutorial on how to convert a template into a angular project here block part is coming from my school database and uh, now i am running the project uh, by using uh, angular live development server and jam server for the data now uh, after completing your project work uh, fully then you can uh, run a command ng build to uh, create the directory for hosting here if I go to the project folder and uh, this is our project folder and uh, so for now I will close the server and from this project folder, which is ng pro, I will run the command to um, create the folder for hosting server. So uh, before that, you have to open the index.html file, uh, which is here um, under source folder. HTML. Yeah, you all have to just uh, add a dot before the uh, forward slash. And the uh, next step is to run this command from the project folder. So from here, I will uh, run the command. You have to also double hyphen. Now it is uh, building the project folder for hosting. You have to wait some time in this step. Okay, our uh, project is built and now you can see there is another folder disk and under this is my project folder name and you have to upload this file into your hosting server when you uh, work for real hosting now if I uh, copy this and uh, paste here under docs folder and run from there localhost our angular server is a stop now slash new app it was the initial name of my project now it is running from jam server without angular development server now check your database is working properly and other parts is working properly next part of the tutorial is to uh, host this project folder in online server so uh, you must have a hosting account to do the next part of this tutorial for online server. I am using a free hosting here. I am using a free hosting account here from infinityfree.net and uh, this is our control panel and first step is to select your hosting account and to create a database in your hosting server and select the user of the database that I have already created and I will show you from where you can do it. So click on the MySQL databases and uh, from here you can create a new database I have already created and that is epj it is the user id and this is the database name and full database name will be this one 
and this is the user for free hosting account there was only one user but you are using any real hosting account then you can create your user and this is the vpanel password and vpanel password means not that you have used in login i will show you from where you you can get this password okay and the next step is to uh, go to the php my admin section and import the database file before hosting you have to export the database file from your local php my admin and this is my database and you have to just press export and create the sql file i think you know this is steps and uh, next go to the uh, php my admin from your cpanel and this is here php my admin and uh, here you can see i have created two web databases and i will be using this database for angular hosting so connect now and uh, i have already imported the database that i have exported uh, from the uh, local server that i have shown here after export you will get a sql file and uh, just pressing import you have to browse the sql file and uh, set the go button to import the file i have already imported the file and uh, there was only one table block to retrieve the uh, data from this table and uh, display in my front page okay mm, uh, in this way uh, you can import the database tables in your online mysql server and the next step is to uh, step uh, four and uh, there is another step to modify the database connection and for this uh, you have to go to the database.php and this configuration is for local server and these configuration are for online server so i will stop this portion or commenting and enable this portion uh, you have to this one is the mysql hosting name i will show you how you how you can get this one for online hosting uh, you have to first find out your host name and for this you can go to the mysql part and uh, this is the host name and uh, next uh, part is to set the <coughs> username and uh, from this part username is this one and uh, third part is the password and here the password is the vpanel password how to find out the vpanel password you can go there and uh, account detail section you have to press show hide button and it will show you the password just you have to use this password in this section and uh, database name data name this name is this so this is the database name username password i have shown from where you will get it and this is the host name and uh, after uh, setting all these value correctly you can only connect with the mysql database of online server after uh, correctly setting the database connection parameter now go for the next step which is a step 5 and that i have already set in my previous part so go for step 6 open the api service.ts file which is under source api folder source api mm, from uh, here you can see the php api server parameter containing the local url so i will um, disable this line and enable the line for real hosting this is the domain name of my free hosting account suppose i will uh, upload the php file 
in api folder so add the api folder here and save the file before building the project again for online server okay now, now go for the <coughs> step 7 and in the same way you have to run the ng build prod command uh, of course using to hyphen and then it will a folder like new app that i have shown for local server and after that you have to um, upload the folder from online file manager for this uh, free hosting account i have already uploaded the folder here uh, this one angular pro and uh, this is the folder you can see that i have shown in my previous new app folder this is the folder assets and other files that i have already uploaded under angular pro folder and this is the php files folder api that's why i have set the link like this now i will show you the project is running properly from the online server or not here i have set the uh, my url is this one so just copying this url okay from uh, firefox it was working properly and database is also working from online server also you must try this to upload your angular project in apache server thank you for watching